<laughs> was your dad your major influence in that? Did he play you records? Because whenever I talk to recording artists, there was tons of music in our house. And, like, would your dad sit there and play classic rock for you all the time? All and... the time, all, every single, every single night. It was sort of a ritual before and after dinner. He'd play uh, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, Bruce Springsteen, Billy Joel. And I used to just go, Danny, why is there, is there money sounds in that song? And he'd say, <laughs> well, Pink Floyd wrote a song called Money. And then he'd explain it to me. So your father must sort of feel somewhat responsible for your career because he sat there with you and played you Queen which was where you got the name Gaga and yes. all that stuff. So he probably feels good. And, and, and how long before you start to play the piano yourself? How old were you? I was four. Four years old? Yeah. Did you take piano lessons? No, not in the beginning. What do you mean you didn't take piano? I mean, you, at four you would sit there and bang on the piano, and yet it made sense to you? you well, you... it made probably no sense, but my mom, you know, thought it was really sweet. And, you know, we had an upright piano in the house, and of all the toys that we had laying around, I used to always just sort of, kneel on the floor and bang on the keys. Were you obsessed with the piano as a kid? Yeah, and I actually used to, uh, like Jerry Lee Lewis, I used to stand on the piano, and I used, I used to pretend to play, but I didn't, you know, it didn't really sound and, very good. And, and did then, you beg your parents for lessons? Um, I didn't. At first, my mom just uh, got me lessons, and actually my first piano teacher was a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> she was fabulous. I used to ask her, I used to say, I used to say, why do you have such long nails? <laughs> For a piano Because you play teacher. piano, and are you tell me that when I play piano, my nails should be very short so I can have the proper position. And she'd say, someday you'll understand why my nails are long. Now do that, Debussy, again. <laughs> did you, um, like when you were four years old, did you start writing music right away? Did you have songs in your head? Um, yeah, actually, I tried to copy Pink Floyd. Right. I wrote a song called Money. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a ripoff, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. they, should, they should sue me immediately. <laughs> what was the song? Do you remember it? Uh, no, I I just notated it. Um, on my mother had bought me Mickey Mouse staff paper, uh -huh. so I notated it. Um, you know, with the real notes, and it was so cute because it was in the key of G. So there was an F sharp, you know, and it was really sweet. At four years old, what do you think? What is your thought on money? Was it that money was bad or money? No, was... I just was confused as to why a rock and roll band would put would put the sound of a cash register in a song. That, when I was that you were intrigued. obsessed with that. I was. I, I had. I was like, that's not rock and roll, Daddy. Billy Joel would never do that. And then he explained to me that Pink Floyd uh, changed the way that rock and roll was forever. Was it hard for you to decide in your career what type of music you'd play? If you were like kind of raised on like hard rock and roll and Pink Floyd and stuff like that, did you, you, you at some point, became a pop artist and pop music and like a lot of dance music? Yeah. But was there a time you said, no, no way I'm going to do that? I'm going to just be one of these rock guys, like, you know, I'm going to be like Pink Floyd or I'm going to be like Billy Joel. Well, or... no, because I, I think that all those influences, uh, they just sort of gave birth to me in a way. And the artist that I've become is just who I was always destined to be. I, you know, moved downtown when I was 19 and uh, there was a huge sort of singer songwriter rock indie scene. And to be honest, I just didn't want to be another one of the chicks in the pack. I wanted to for myself revolutionized what was underground music in New York so I made pop music. There was a period of time where you were a songwriter for other people. Yeah. And the sort of the famous story is that Britney Spears which song did you write that you had submitted to her and she turned it down? A couple. I did uh, one for her that she used called Quicksand. Right. Um, and then I wrote Telephone for her. Right. And she didn't put it out on an album. No. When you were writing for other people did it kill you inside? Because you probably said, these are really good songs. I should be Hell doing these. Hell no. Freaking Britney Spears sang my record. Are you <laughs> kidding? I was doing backflips and ordering drinks. Were you depressed early on? Because you were signed to a record label. I guess a record came out. You were signed to someone for like three or four months. I don't know who the hell it was. Def Jam. Def Jam. And when you signed with them, you probably said to yourself, oh my God, it's finally coming true. This is my big break. I'll break through. I'm on Def Jam. It's a great label. Everyone gets me. Did you think it was over when that whole deal didn't work out? Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I mean, well, I, I was going to keep going anyway. But, right. you know, more of the concern is how do you make your daddy proud? You right. know, mm -hmm. how do you make an honest woman of yourself for your family? And I was more concerned with my parents not feeling like I was 
uh, you know, leaving a legacy for our, our family. And I, my parents, you know, they didn't come from money, and I didn't come from money. They were both really hardworking, uh, b- both in, uh, you know, the Internet business and communications. They both were the first to go to college. Were you the embarrassment of the family in the sense that, like, oh, my God, she's pursuing this dream. It's never going to happen. I'm sure your parents were worried no, out of their mind. No, not an embarrassment at all. I think it was more just confusing because I was really, really smart in school. And I think that you know, theater and academia in the theater sense was what they saw for my future. Um, and I just started doing a lot of drugs and moved downtown and started burlesque dancing. That could scare a parent. If yeah, you had absolutely. It, but if you hadn't made it, it would have been the worst thing in the world because you probably felt such pressure from your parents. Not, not that they were doing it even. It's just an internal thing you were going through. See, that's the thing, though, is I had already felt like I had made it. Me living... In New York, in an $1,100 a month apartment, paying my own rent, doing my own shows, dressing how I like, singing how I like, doing my hair how I like, I already felt like I had made it. So I only and always have just wanted to make music and do it my way. 